Uh, recently I had some difficulty starting my car. When I turned the ignition, it would just click. Uh, and the, the starter motor would not spin over. So um, it would do that intermittently. Some, eventually it would start. So first thing I'm gonna, going to do is to check my battery. And um, anyway, uh, with this tester, or all testers, you're really supposed to check it right at the battery terminals, but I have to take the wheel off and pull out the fender well to get to the, uh, the plastic fender liner to get to the battery terminals. I don't feel like doing that right now. So there's my voltage. That's not a bad voltage. Um, I'm going to go through and set this thing up to test the battery. Select my language, English, OK. Vehicle test, or select test in vehicle. Yeah, the battery is installed in the vehicle. Um, select charge before, OK. Got to select the state of charge. I'll go up or down with that. OK, this is after charge. I've been running the car for a while. I mean, I just got back from like a 32 mile drive. It's charged. So that means after the charge. Um, select type. Yeah, it's a regular flooded lead acid battery. That's what's in here. Um, select input CCA. All right. Okay, CCA. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put in. It's 650 amp CCA. Yeah, that's that's what's on the label of the battery. Correct. Okay, testing. State of health, 39%. State of charge, 98%. 12.78 volts terminal voltage. 460 amp rated 650 amp replace battery so my battery's dead that's awesome i mean i thought my starter was gone but it's just my battery so i'm going to replace my battery okay i've removed the battery from the car and now i'm going to run that same test again that i ran with it in the car and let's see what the results are here Okay, 12.74 volts, good. English, yes. In, ve in vehicle, no, it's out of vehicle. Before charge, um, I'm going to do after charge because I did um, drive the car some before uh, I took the battery out. So I'm going to say it's after charge. Uh, regular flooded, yes, it's a flooded lead acid battery. Select type. Oh, my mistake. Regular flooded. Okay. Cold cranking amp. Yes. It is 650 CCA. Correct. All right, it's testing. State of health 85%. 12.74 volts. 630 amps. Internal resistance 4.74 milliohm, good battery. Okay, so this battery's good. Okay, and I'm going to do a load test on this battery using this uh, Schumacher load tester. So I've got 12 point whatever volts there, 12 point, I can't read it. Anyway, I've got to press and hold this, press this button and hold it for 10 seconds. It's got to put a load on the battery. So um, it's 650 cold cranking amps. So I'm going to be reading the scale here just above 600, between 600 and 800 CCA. And it should be able to hold it in the green during the load test period. Okay. So I'm depressing the switch now. It's at the very bottom end of 600 CCA. Okay, I think that was 10 seconds approximately. Um, yeah, so it held it in the green. Um, stayed in the green region for slightly above 600 cold cranking amps 650 to be exact so this battery's good there's nothing wrong with it um probably it just needs a charge so 
I did change the battery out in the car and um, because the one that was this one was um, uh, it's like 20 months old and the battery is so hard to get to since I went in there and I pulled the battery out anyway I just put a new one in so it cost me like 180 bucks anyway um, that did not solve the problem I still have a problem with getting the click sound when I turn the key so I've talked to several people and I have concluded that the starter is the problem so that's the next part and I don't regret changing this battery because again because the battery is so hard to get to um, I did clean all the terminals while I was in there and um, I don't regret I don't regret it because it just takes quite some time to get in there um, again because I'm so meticulous about cleaning all the terminals making sure all the connections are clean um, yeah so all right that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching.